This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. A two-year story of unceasing toil has ended in the opening of the Lido Road, a vital artery through which supplies now go direct from India to China. At Lido, the first supply convoy is ready to leave with its much-needed supplies and weapons for our Chinese allies. The great journey of over a thousand miles, which covers some of the most difficult country in the world, had begun at last. Parallel with the road, a petrol line supplies filling stations at which the heavy lorries pull in to refuel. Men of Britain, America, India and China had worked together and died together to create the first overland supply route between the countries of China and India. Over the Irrawaddy, across one of the longest bridges yet built in the Far East. Through villages in the country of the Salween River, the first convoy speeds on. The ruined temples of the Burmese gods bring back memories of the bitter struggle before the Burma road was finally recaptured. And here is the junction of the old highway and the new. Soon the border country is reached and a special ceremony marks the crossing of the first supply lorry into China itself. Chinese troops go on ahead to clear the surrounding country of Japs who lurk in the area and who boasted that this first convoy would never get through. But the Japanese were wrong and journey's end is reached at Kunming, the receiving end of this great supply corridor. China is grateful for this very real aid to the final march on Tokyo.